So we're going to start. Aspetta un secondo, aspetta un secondo. <laughs> Welcome to the Italian Wine Podcast Lockdown Series. Every Monday we'll be connecting with Italian wine people. Join us to find out what they're doing and drinking today. This podcast is brought to you by Colangelo and Partners, the leading fine wine and spirits agency in the US. Visit Colangelo and Partners on www.colangelopr.com. Ciao Marilisa. Ciao Stevie. So today we have uh, Marie Lisa and uh, we'll see what she's up to. I think she's going to, you know, she's not the only the iconic um, wine producer in this area, but she's also a actually a very, very good cook. And she's always telling me how bad I am, that I would make a very bad housewife. But luckily I'm, I'm already married. So Marie Lisa, what are you going to cook for us today? Today I will going to prepare homemade pasta. It's very okay, easy. Okay, so Marie Lisa, tell me first all the ingredients. So the ingredient we have uh, flour. The best one is double zero. Okay, double Then, zero flour. Shall I start? Yes, start. So But what's going on with your hair there? Oh yes, uh, this is something that I forgot <laughs> to tell you. I have my curler because uh, for two reasons. The first reason is that I want to protect my hair to go in the food when I'm preparing food. But Excellent, also good idea. because I'm always, <laughs> I'm always running out of time. And so is uh, the way to save time. So when I cook, I wear my curler and then when the dinner is ready, I take out and I'm ready for dinner. Yes, I just want every uh, all the listeners to understand that, you know, these um, curlers, they're called bigodini in Italian. Yes. And this is a trademark of Marilisa <laughs> because every time I see her, she has these damn bigodinis. So, okay, excellent. So, we prepare the size for two person, two people. So, two full egg of flour. Yes, then we need uh, the eggs. It's better to start uh, with just uh, one egg. Mix uh, the flour with the egg. So now is okay. Yeah. And uh, I wear my gloves. Oh yeah, we are all wearing gloves nowadays. Yes, Not just we you. Are you, you are, are the, the trendsetter, past? my lady. How many times have you made this? Oh, I started the first time when I was uh, 12 years old. And one thing that I want to explain is that uh, in the north part of Italy, when I was a child, uh, my mom used to make pasta almost every day because uh, dry pasta is something that belongs to the southern part of Italy. While in the north part of Italy, in Piedmont, they made the tallarin, which are made only with egg yolk. So now the pasta is uh, done. Yeah, it's very yellow. Yes. This is the kind of eggs uh, that we have here. Okay. Uh, yes. Now at this point, you have to let the pasta to rest for five, ten minutes. So now we are going to use the one that I made before. Okay, excellent. I love this part. This is, this is the part I love about Marilisa. All set to go. Okay. Next okay. step. Next step. I don't know where she's gone, but. Yes, I'm here. Okay. All right. <laughs> so, Stevie. Yes. Te technology help also in making pasta. So now there is this machine. You see? Okay. And this machine help you to make the pasta very, very thin. Okay, that doesn't seem like very technological to me, but yeah, but if you say so. More than also, this, I think you're living, your, your, your house is not very technological. There's like, it's very difficult to get Wi-Fi. Okay. <laughs> What is this machine called? Pasta cutter? Pas pasta machine. 
Oh, it is called a pasta machine. Yes. How do you so say you in Italian? Si... Macchina si... per la pasta. Ah, macchina per la pasta. I remember doing that. Like, remember when we made the tortellini? We did the same thing, right? Yes, yes. I love That's to all... make pasta, Stevie. I think, I think that uh, is uh, very nice exercise. Also, family thing to do on Sunday morning. But are you cooking like every meal? What are you doing? These yes, days? I'm cooking lunch and dinner, but uh, not every day the pasta because uh, I also have to do the to clean the house. So it takes a lot of time because nobody is coming. You too? Uh, I no. <laughs> I don't want to talk about that right now. Oh, excellent. Beautiful. Love it. <laughs> now we have uh, to let the pasta to dry because we cannot cut immediately. Otherwise, it will become too um, compact. So we have to wait until uh, the surface will be dry. What I do usually is that uh, yeah. I like to cut uh, manually. So I will cut the size that I want because with the machine you have only these uh, two different sizes. So you are the yes. macchina della pasta. <laughs> yes. Marilisa, la macchina della pasta. Actually, that's good. And, and then, the, then you're going to do some maltagliati. Yes. Oops. Which, which means badly badly cut. Badly cut. Yeah. Yes. And what kind of sauce are we making today? Uh, today we are making sauce with peas. Okay, great. So, and is there a, is there a name to this pasta? Pasta, this pasta con with peas? piselli. Pasta con piselli. Okay. Excellent. Okay, so olive oil and uh, be generous uh, with the olive oil because it's the one that gives the taste to the sauce. Okay. And then... Um, so generous portion of the olive oil into the pan directly. And then... Onion. Onions. Any kind of onions? White onions, right? Yes. No, That's it's a... yellow onion because they are a little bit too strong. I want to put a little bit of garlic, not too oh, much. Oh, garlic. That's not a little yes. bit. That's a lot of garlic. No. Goodness. What are you wearing, by the way, that the feet? It matches your bigodini. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I always have something that match. I <laughs> also did the makeup today after three weeks. In the oh, last three okay. weeks. Just oh, for you. Good. And then... In my recipe with the pea sauce is uh, also some parsley. Okay. Oh, interesting. Parsley. Yes. What do? How do you call this? Stir fry or you have another word? Rosolare. Rosolare. Um, you don't know. I don't know. You are not very good in cooking. Yeah, I don't cook, as you know. <laughs> That's not I part of my. That's not part I, of my vocabulary. Let me I look know, that up. I know, but I think that is a stir fry. I'm not sure. Anyway, now I put the peas. I think that this is more or less um, two pounds of peas, and this was a half onion, and this was one clove of garlic. Okay, so actually, let me just, I just looked this up. So, rosolare means to brown in English. And um, yeah. that's a, paradoxically, you said it can't turn brown, right? So, you, you brown until it, but you can't make it color brown. No, basically. not brown. Salt. Pepper? No, so, no, this is salt. Okay. And pepper. Excellent. But I think that we should add a little bit of water. Okay. All right, let me see the final product. Wow. 
One of the wine that I like very much to combine with the pasta is Palazzo della Torre because it takes the freshness of the grapes that come from Corvina and it takes the concentration that come from dried grapes. So 70% of the grapes are pressed at the harvest time and 30% are dry exactly as we do for Amarone. And then in January, when the dried grapes are ready, we blend the two products and the wine become rich, intense, but keeping the freshness of the Corvina. Okay. Right. Thank you very Ciao. much. Ciao. Ciao. Bye. Bye. See you next Monday for another virtual wine journey Italian wine podcast lockdown series.